it's been 18 years ago as I was here for a small showcase and a TV program. You mentioned 18 years ago you were here in the Philippines. What do you remember best about the Philippines? Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's a very lively, uh, the, the Philippines are happy people. chaos. Happy <laughs> chaos, yes. Uh, I've noticed that in comparison to, I don't know, Japanese or Chinese, Philippines are very much alive. They have a lot of uh, temperament. And I believe it's because it was originally Spanish and Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was, it was very, they had a lot of, uh, uh, of course, a lot of pizzazz uh, uh, in them. And uh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I like it when people, you know, show their emotion tell you things and, and I think the Philippines are that. Well I always include my my audience and my band and it's not just singing one song after the other. You know, I've got 26 songs in the show and if I would just sit down and sing one after the other you might as well be stay at home and put on the CD and that's it. But you know I like entertainment, I like uh, interaction with my audience so I think that's what people like. Um, that gives it a little bit more magic than just listening to the songs on the CD. Yeah, I, 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 of course, I've, I've noticed that when I sign my CDs, that's when I have really contact with that, with that person. And, and in a certain country, you see them every time, and you start to recognize them. And there's one guy in Taiwan comes every time with the same white jacket. And every time I have to sign that jacket, and of course signatures are still the same, but the year is different. So about, he's got about now, you know, all over the jacket. Oh, wow. <laughs> something that you, you keep remembering. I heard you're selling the jacket right now. <laughs> he's, he's, I told him 50-50. <laughs>